the rock boat, the, my first mm. six man sessions. That was a pinnacle that I will never forget. And that is actually, that moment is on YouTube as well. Um, so when I moved to Nashville, I had left New York City after 16 years and was brokenhearted about the business and was ready to give up. Like I just wanted to write songs. I didn't want to be a figure anymore, even though performing is like my favorite thing ever. And I met up with a dear friend. Uh, we, we met each other. She's a singer songwriter named Amy Gerhartz. Mm. And she's a, amazing. Uh, we became besties and I became her backup singer and she was on the rock boat 2020. So this was January of 2020 before all the stuff. A couple months before that six man does a thing called six man sessions where if several artists from that are going to be on the rock boat, go on another previous boat, write and record a full length album on that boat and then perform it on the rock boat. Amy didn't want to do it. And she said, why don't you have Megan do it? Because this is what it takes. This is what I mean, friends supporting friends. Yes. And I knew it would change my life. And I went on this boat. I still was cleaning houses on the weekends and cleaning houses for a living at the architectural firm I worked at and wasn't didn't feel like I was doing much else. And I get this opportunity and I wrote three songs and I wrote this song called Ready to Go. And I performed it on the boat and got a standing ovation and I will, it's what every performer dreams of. Yeah. Not, a, not a standing ovation per se, but that moment where everything just clicks and every audience member and you have made that you're on the same level, you have synced energies and you have a live musical moment together. Yeah. And everyone felt it, I felt it, and I got this standing ovation and it changed my life completely. I walked off that boat with a fan base of my mom at the time. And then all of a sudden I had 3000 people all in my corner and I haven't looked back since.